Today, we're prepping for Pesach. I have this beautiful rib roast here, which I got from Yessi's Cuts at the Marketplace. You want to be on a first name basis with your butcher. You want to have a butcher that you really trust, that you know is going to give you a great cut of meat, and maybe even tell you how to prepare it. Especially on Pesach, when we can't do a lot to it, you really want the meat to shine. So, no herbs, no garlic, no spices, but, we're gonna take our minimal ingredients and get the maximum flavor out of it. To start this off, we're gonna begin with a caramelized shallot jam. This is gonna add a ton of flavor and we're using basic, basic ingredients. I have some hot oil in this pan and I'm adding about 10 diced shallots. It should take about 10 minutes on a low to medium flame and you wanna make sure to keep on stirring it so that the caramelization happens all over. We're gonna add some sugar. It's gonna speed up the caramelization. Do you see how once I added it, it's getting much browner here. Once you have this beautiful, pretty dark golden color on this shallot, we're gonna go in with a cup of dry red wine. And then of course, some salt. Okay, now we're gonna let the liquid cook down. You'll see it'll start to bubble and it's gonna become thick and almost syrupy like. You're gonna keep on stirring and you're gonna make sure to cook it down until there's very, very, very little liquid left in the pot. Okay, so we let the liquid reduce and if you look at it now, it's got this beautiful syrupy texture. The color is gorgeous and it smells incredible. So this is the most complicated part of the recipe and this you can totally do ahead of time. This jam will hold in your fridge for up to a week. We're gonna store it in this great mason jar because that's what mason jars are for. And when you're ready to make your roast, just pull it out of the fridge and it'll take you less than 10 minutes to put together this roast. If you're prepping this ahead of time, go ahead, cover it, pop it in the fridge. I'm gonna be using this right now to slather on my roast. Okay, you want to make sure that you're starting off with a roast that's at room temperature. So about an hour or even two before you start cooking, just take it out of the fridge and let it rest. Now, this roast has been resting, it's nice and cool, and we're going to salt it very liberally. I'm using kosher salt here. And even though I'm putting a lot of salt, after I slice it, I'm gonna salt the individual slices also because as much as I season it, because I'm not braising the meat, there's only so far that the flavor is going to get into the meat itself. I'm just taking any oil that you're using this Pesach and giving it a nice little massage. We're going to grate some horseradish now. I have this brawn food processor here. We just got these into Kettle and Cord. They're amazing. They have so many different blades. It's gonna slice your Pesach prep in half. You're probably making your mara anyway, so just make about a cup extra. We're going to coat the roast with it and it's gonna give it a great crunch and gonna offset the sweetness of the shallot jam perfectly. Okay. Wow, <laughs> that just hit me. <laughs> but this is the perfect texture and it was so fast. We're going to slather on the shallot jam and then go with the horseradish. I'm turning it over, I'm doing the bottom first. Now, we're just going to make a really nice crust with this horseradish. Flip it over again. So you just wanna get a nice even layer of the horseradish. So this looks perfect. We've got a nice little crust going on here. I'm gonna be using this roasting pan to roast the meat in. If you want to make your cleanup a lot easier, just grab some silver foil and put it underneath the roasting pan. And then once it's done, we're just gonna wrap it up, throw it out, and the roasting pan stays pretty clean. Okay, we're gonna gently place the roast right in the middle of the rack. And now, in order to know when it's perfectly done, I'm gonna use 
this knead thermometer. I'm setting it to about 135. 125 is cooked, but very rare. I want it a little bit more medium, so I'm setting the little blue thingy to 135 and I'll know when the internal temperature hits that exact degree. I'm gonna be sticking it into the thickest part of the roast, right into the center. There we go, perfect. My oven's preheated to 400 degrees. I'm going to place it at the lower half of the oven. This roast, which is about six pounds, should take about two hours. To go with this sweet and spicy flavor profile that we have with the roast, we're gonna be throwing in a sweet and spicy side dish. I have some jalapenos here. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to peel them. Look at that. So your tomatoes, your peppers for Pesach, it's a breeze. Throw this into my food processor. I have some extra shallots. Throw that in too. Some oil. And some salt. Okay, we just gave that a nice little zoom. And now it's perfect. Look at that beautiful green color. I'm gonna mix this jalapeno shallot mixture with some sweet potatoes and pineapple and roast them. I have diced sweet potatoes here and some pineapple. Pineapple actually tastes delicious once it's grilled and roasted. Pour some of this mixture over it and give it a good mix. I'm gonna bake the sweet potatoes and pineapple on this parchment paper lined cookie sheet. I'm gonna give them some space so they can roast. There we go. I don't know if you noticed these purple beauties sitting over here, but I was in the market yesterday and I saw these gorgeous purple sweet potatoes. This is not purple potatoes, this is purple sweet potatoes. And I figured, let's throw it into the recipe. I didn't mix it in with the sweet potatoes and pineapple because it's gonna bleed. So I'm roasting them on separate sides of the pan. We're gonna pop these in the oven. The oven's already roasting the meat at 400 degrees. I'm just gonna slide it right under. It takes about 40 minutes, so it needs a little less time than the meat. Look at that gorgeous crust. I'm so excited. I'm taking it out now. The thermometer's reading between 130 and 140. It's still gonna go up. So, I'm taking some silver foil and I'm just loosely tenting the pan. I'm gonna let this sit for about 10 to 20 minutes so all the juices could collect and then it'll be perfect for slicing. Okay, let's slice this. If some of the crust comes off, that's perfect. Look at this. Gorgeous, medium, rare, so delicious. As I said before, we're gonna add some kosher salt to each slice, and we're ready to serve. This roast really speaks for itself. You don't need to do much in terms of dressing it up to serve it. We have our roasted sweet potatoes, pineapples, some salt if anybody wants to add, a nice glass of wine. I had so much fun doing this video. I hope you had fun watching. I hope you make this roast don't be intimidated about making a nice roast like this. You can do it. With the right tools, you can. I want to wish you all a kosher and freilich and Pesach. Don't go too crazy with the preparations. It'll all work out fine in the end. Remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Do, 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 do. Oh, oh, you didn't get it? it yeah, we were rolling. Yeah. Wait, Mixing Pesach, Rosh Hashanah.